Bill Browder spoke to your committee today uh, about the Magnitsky Act. How important is it that the EU adopts a Magnitsky Act? I think it's very important because if we don't do it on EU level, there will always be some member states that those who would like to do money laundering can use. So we need to have it on a common level, uh, and it's important because it is in reality part of our common defence and security policy. The scale of the money laundering um, that is taking place uh, is really quite shocking, and Europe is playing a role in that, essentially assisting these people. Do you think there's a sense of responsibility among heads of government within the EU? I think they will feel it. I think a lot of people are surprised about the magnitude, the enormity of this money laundering. And also, I think it's quite recently that people have understood that it implies a security threat. It's not only about money laundering, which you need to fight as money laundering. This is about Russia waging a financial and criminal war firm against European democracies. And we need to stand up to that. And I'm quite certain that uh, European governments will do that. Bill Browder, you've been here at the European Parliament today meeting a lot of people about the Sergei Magnitsky Act. How close are we now in Europe to having a Magnitsky Act? I think we're, we're much closer than we've ever been. And the reason is because there's now an official uh, proposal from the Dutch government at the European Council of Foreign Ministers level where it's been agreed in principle. And so this is a, it was a huge breakthrough in December. And so now it's a question of implementing it, getting it all put in place, and it's a question of, of not deleting Sergei Magnitsky's name to appease Russia. How important is the name? Uh, it, could, the, could you have the same legislation without the name of Sergei Magnitsky on it and accept that it was known as the Magnitsky Act? Well, I, I, I mean, in, 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 at the end of the day, um, you could, you, you, we've, we've lived without the Magnitsky Act for a very long time. The, the, the idea is that you don't want to... Um, Putin hates the Magnitsky Act. He hates the Magnitsky story. It exposes all of his crimes. And, um, and it's important not to do Putin any favors when he's out murdering people around the world, uh, influencing elections, cheating the Olympics, shooting down airplanes, etc. You spoke of different layers um, in this process, um, the different countries uh, in, in corruption. And you, you named a number of European countries. I mean, which countries in Europe do you think, in the EU, really need to take action? Well, there, there are sort of the obvious candidates like Cyprus, Latvia, Lithuania and Estonia, and a few less obvious countries like Great Britain. Britain, um, as, as you mentioned, was uh, the victim of attacks and uh, advocated very strongly here in Europe for common action, common sanctions. And yet you're saying that they're really not doing enough in a sense. Well, if you look at what happened after the Salisbury poisoning, they expelled 23 diplomats and that was it. Finished. End of story. Nothing else. No sanctions.